Welcome to Handukano Craft. Thanks for joining me. Today we are gonna paint a figure from the legend of Drist. It's called uh, Artemis Entreri, and he's a human assassin. I use this red blue tack, I guess, to attach the miniature to my very expensive miniature holder. I was thinking about how to paint this miniature at this moment. I knew that it was a human assassin, so black or dark blue would fit very well. But when I saw this miniature, I knew I was not just gonna use it with the Legend of Trist. I'm planning to use it for Rangers of Shadow Deep uh, as a ranger or maybe as a companion. So in the end, I decided to to go for some green tones. The first color is a very basic green from Vallejo, it's called Intermediate Green. We'll use it on the cape, all over the cape. Next color is Basalt Grey from Vallejo. We'll use this color on pants and, well, the clothes, basically. Yeah. Oh yeah, wash your brush. Always. For the weapons that we previously painted with black, we'll use some silver. Pretty easy, simple, really. <laughs> Shake it. First, we. Well, I painted the dagger, a small weapon, his left hand, and then I went for the sword. Well, a little bit longer, yeah. Kind of a, not exactly a dry brush, a bit more loaded. Uh, some people call it like an overbrush, I believe. Then I painted that metal, or I believe it's a metal thing that keeps the cape together. And I decided finally to paint the, the shoulder protector. Um, yeah, on the forearm. Bingo. And the knee pad. Well, for the next steps, uh, I went for speed paint. For the skin. is the face and the hands basically skin crusader yeah I use the hardened leather speed paint for the boots and the sword sleeve and some of those kind of leathery straps on his body. Very nice paint. I really like it. Oh, and a little bit of hair showing through the hood will be leather too, 
<laughs> Afterwards, for the base, we will use burnt sienna. I decided to go for this kind of base because I'm planning to use this mini in Rangers of Shadow Deep. Uh, that game is based in the forest most of the time, I think. So, yeah, I decided to, to go for brown all over the base. Then it was time to apply a wash, a brown wash from Vallejo, pretty much all over the mini. Yep. Uh, yeah, all over it. Yeah. I let dry a speed paint like 24 hours or so. So it should be okay. But well, I try not to apply on top of the speed paint. Before the wash was dry, pretty much straight away, I went to to paint some highlights with that ochre yellow. So the idea is that the the clear of the light paint gets mixed with wash. Uh, yeah. With the same green that we painted the cape, we are gonna paint like dry brushing or like stippling, I think it's called, with with that green to emulate kind of grass. And we use the same ochre yellow to apply some highlights on the base too. And to finish off this base we'll use some matte black from Americana. Before we call it done we are gonna apply a little bit of dry brushing with the same, very same yellow. So, yeah, we need to, to keep the brush a bit dry. Just go carefully on top of the mini, yeah, here and there. Not, I don't think too much about it. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah, try not to leave it very chalky. Yeah, the hood, top of the shoulders, the hood. Yeah. Um, well, this is it, really. Uh, I think the mini, the mini is done. Uh, I applied some matte varnish in, from a spray can it leaves a little bit of satin but yeah that's the mini that's gonna be the ranger that's gonna be Artemis and Trary. so thanks for watching and see you later <laughs>